Two minutes to the gentleman from Connecticut, Mr. Courtney, a leader on the Higher Education Committee and well known nationally for as a spokesperson on education. The gentleman is recognized. Speaker, I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 1, and I want to thank Mr. Neal for his tireless leadership pointing out the trail of broken promises that are in this bill for middle class families who will pay dearly with higher costs for health care, home ownership, and in many, many cases, federal taxes. I would like to zero in for a minute during National Apprenticeship Week on the broken promise the bill represents to growing the U.S. economy, which has a desperate shortage of skilled workers. The obliteration of the student loan interest deduction, which, which will add 25 Four billion dollars to the cost of higher education, the taxation of graduate students' tuition waivers, 60 percent of which are concentrated in STEM curricula, and the elimination of tax-free employer-funded tuition assistance to enhance workplace skills often using apprenticeship programs moves this country in exactly the wrong direction to close the skills gap in our workforce, which we all know every member in this body has heard about from employers back home. Indeed, America's CEOs told the president last February at a, at a White House manufacturing uh, summit, jobs exist, skills don't. In fact, the Trump Labor Department reported 6.1 million job openings in the month of September, a near record high. Sadly, this anti-growth tax bill robs American job seekers and employers of the tools to fill those jobs, ironically, during National Apprenticeship Week. Mr. Speaker, I urge the members of this body to vote no, and I yield back the balance.